Okay guys, so I'm here today with James the Douglas. Yeah, go and check his channel out in the description down below. And he is here to answer our questions for the Bannerlord podcast. Um so uh, should we jump right into the first question? Yeah, yeah, let's go for it, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so uh, the first question is when would you like to see Bannerlord informing about the release date? Well, it's funny, I was I was actually, I saw the YouTube video that they released, I think it was 2012. Yeah. And I was, for some reason, I was always under the impression from what people said in, like, on social media and that, um, I was always under the impression that they'd announced the date back then. Sorry if I lagged there. Um, yeah, I, I, don't, I always thought they announced the date then, but they never actually. But to have announced the game so long ago... You yeah. would have thought that around you know this time or by now they would have announced a release date or the game would have would have been released. Um, it would be nice if they could announce a release date. I think a lot of people uh, would want to release date. I know a lot of people in the community are happy if, for them just to work on it, but there is a vast yeah. amount of people that are you know they're impatient and they they want just even a half finished game just to try it out. So yeah. um, I I personally. Oh, I'm kind of on the fence there. I think it would be nice for them to push towards a date, you know, to get something out. But, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm probably more leaning towards the, it'd be nice if they could announce something concrete. Yeah, cool. Okay, so uh, question number two. Do you think Band Under Lord is going to have, like, like a demo or a pre-game, uh, like an alpha or beta? Um, please, first. I think, mm, I think given the nature of the game and how complex it is, it would be vital for it to have at least, you know, pre-game release, yeah. like uh, like beta or yeah. something like that. Um, I know they've they want their own engine from scratch, um, so I, th I, th I think, yeah, I think in order for people to test it and really to test on different systems and that, it would be ideal to have a, a beta or something like that, yeah. yeah what do you think? Cool. Yeah, I think that would be very, very good to um, like calm down all the hate they're they're getting um, mm -hmm. right now, just right, because yeah. of that they have uh, announced the game uh, so long ago. It's uh, it's difficult because you don't want to give like you don't want to necessarily just do what people want, even if even if it's not the right thing. But at the same time, you yeah. you want to keep your your customers happy yeah, in a way. Exactly. Uh, yeah, great, great thoughts. Uh, question number th three: Are you going to play Mountain Blade Banner or on your channel, like uh, Let's Play or a walkthrough mm -hmm. or yeah, whatever? I might live stream actually. Uh, yeah, I am planning to. Uh, currently, I'm still uploading a Let's Play of the the original Mountain Blade game. I've not played too much Warband. Like I've played about with a few mods, and yeah. uh, I've I've not really done the native quests all that much or the yeah. native uh, game. But I, I really want to, I really want to uh, get into Warband before doing Bannerlord. But obviously, if Bannerlord, for example, comes out soon, then I might I might just skip on to that and try it out because it does look good. What about yourself? Are you looking to to get into? Yeah, it? for sure. I mean, like my whole channel is. Uh like based around banner lord and like mountain mm. blade in general things right now so right, yeah, yeah i yeah. will definitely do uh, a whole series about that uh, mm. which, which also comes in uh, which you mentioned earlier in this question uh, how long have you been into um, mountain blade um mountain blade so i it was back when i was at university i was uh, staying with a family and yeah. one of the people in the, in the house, they played it and they, they introduced me to it. This was about early 2014, so yeah, oh, about yeah, five yeah. years ago. Now, it's not... Although I've played it for five years, I've not played it a lot in the five-year yeah. period, if you know what I mean. There's been times when I've played it a lot, but then equal, there's been like six months where I've not touched the game. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I think recently, I live-streamed it a lot last year and then started recording the, the Let's Play, and I've been... I, it's all pre-recorded, basically, so I haven't actually played Mountain Blade in the last couple months. Yeah. But I, as soon as the Let's Play, the, there's a point where it comes to a stop, but yeah. it's not like finished, if you know what I mean. So later yeah. this year, maybe in a month or so, I'll probably pick it up again and 
stream it or yeah. record it or something cool. like that. So on and off, you know. What yeah. about yourself? Yeah. Interestingly, when when did you get into? Uh, probably started like uh, three years ago. Well, I haven't played it like for so long, but I definitely mm. like have played it a lot. You know, I mm. played it, it, it like hundreds and hundreds of of hours uh, each uh, right, of the yeah, last years. Yeah. So yeah, I got some hours on my back. You can say that. Uh, have you, I have interest. Have you ever gone to the Have you ever gone to the PvP aspect of it? No, not really. Uh, for a very, very short uh, period period of time, I uh, like watched the, these uh, competitive um, matches that uh, they uh, had. Right. Yeah. But, yeah. but yeah, it. I barely watched like five matches tops. So mm -hmm. yeah, it was right, yeah. very, very short. Interesting. Yeah. No, I, I've seen competitive play. I've never done it. But yeah, oh, yeah interesting. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So uh, last question now. And the question that I'm asking in uh, all of these um, podcast episodes: When do you mm. think Bannerlord is going to be to be released? I actually, I actually do think optimistically. I think it's close. I think that within the next, you know, year, maybe two years, they will have more info. They maybe start releasing the beta or demo. I do think yeah. it's close. Although, I think, from what I've seen in the comments, people think that the graphics or engine or whatever needs updating because it's been so long since it was announced. Yeah. But I do, optimistically, I do think in the next couple of years. Oh, I don't think we're looking at a game that... I don't think it's going to be like Half-Life 3 that's going to be memed. Well, it'll be memed, but it won't be like, you know... <laughs> yeah. it, won't, it won't be 20 years and we'll still be talking... But I do think in the next uh, year or two, yeah. something, will, something be will be announced. Fantastic. Okay, so uh, that was actually all of the questions uh, for today's episode, and mm -hmm. I want to say thank you so much for taking your, your time and, and uh, being on this episode. Uh, no worries, thank you very much for having me, it was good to discuss that. Yeah, and I want to thank you guys for watching oh, all today, and I will see you guys in the next video. Make a bitch delirious, bitch my dick cause a boy so mysterious, that's a mystery, thoughts making history, wrist keeps spinning like a fucking rotisserie.